We're in the Sunday school. I'm Miss Megan. And I'm Jacob. And we're so glad you have joined us today. Last week, we learned about a woman who anointed Jesus with special perfume. This was a holy religious ritual, and it was a way that she showed her love for Jesus. How do we show our love for Jesus? We can do it all sorts of ways. We can we, pray to him. We can share his love with others. We can tell people his story. So last week, we made these pictures that we colored and then we rubbed oil on the back of them to make them shiny. Awesome. So we also talked about our fish banks. Don't forget to be adding coins to your fish banks. And then on Easter Sunday, bring them in and we're gonna combine them with all the other coins from the kids in our church and we're gonna send them off and they'll be combined with coins from kids fish banks all over the country and then we're gonna share it all over the world. To like God's love. Yes, to help spread God's love. All right, so today for snack, we are going to have grape juice and crackers. I love grape juice so much. It's so yummy and I love these crackers. They're a little bit salty, not too salty, but just right. And the saltiness makes me kind of thirsty for the grape juice. So I'm gonna open up our crackers. I I don't get how to do this. You don't get how to do this? Let's see. Let's I, oh, I see. Okay. So do you see? Oh, okay. okay, I'm gonna take my straw off. Oh, my straw is like on tight. Do you know how to get that off? Yeah. Fine. Goodness gracious. Okay, thank you. And then how do we what do so we do? With this. Okay, with the pointy end. We're just gonna jab Insert it. Got straw it. above. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, Jacob. We are a good um, grape juice opening team. We are a good grape juice opening team. Here, do you want some of my crackers? I'm mm, gonna do mine. Salty, yummy. Oh, grape juice. Mm. Yum. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you guys like the crackers and grape juice? You like them? Yeah, watch for food like this in our store today and see if you make the connection we did. That's right. So, sometimes we feel sad and sometimes we feel happy. Both of these feelings are good and okay to share with God. He wants to heal, hear about all of our feelings. So, before we move on to our story, let's stop and pray together. Loving God, sometimes we feel sad. And sometimes we feel happy. You are always there and you always care. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, now let's move on to our Bible verse. Remember, it's super long, so we're learning it in bits and pieces. The first week, we said... We, you only forgive. That's right. And then the next week, we added on, and your love is always there to those who pray to you. And then last week, we said... Do you remember? Please listen, Lord. That's right. And now we're adding, answer my prayer for help. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to put this up so we can read along with it too. All right, ready guys? You willingly forgive, and your love is always there to those who pray to you. Please listen, Lord. Answer my prayer for help. Great job, guys. Let's try it one more time. You willingly forgive, and your love is always there for those who pray to you. Please listen, Lord. Answer my prayer for help. Awesome. Okay, let's head to story time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We'll see you in story time. Welcome to story time. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Mark, chapter 14, verses 28. 12 through 28. 12 through 26. And sorry, Jacob has the hiccups, so I think he's a little distracted by that. And so am I. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to our story. Yeah. Jesus and his friends were going to have a Passover meal together. Passover is a festival that the Jewish people celebrate every year. And they celebrate the festival to remember God's promises and God's protection. So Jesus sent two of his friends into the city and he told them to go into the city and find a man 
carrying a jug of water. And when they found that man, he said, follow that man to a house. And at that house, there will be a room that Jesus and his friends can eat the special Passover meal together. So, Je so Jesus's friends went to the city and they found the man and they asked for a room where they could eat the Passover meal. So the man said, yes. This is the room, but we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this space so we can see it a little better. So the man said, yes, you can use my room for the Passover meal. So the two disciples, the two friends that had gone ahead to the city, they got everything set up for the Passover meal. They put out the bowls, they put out the cups, they put out the bread, they put out the more bread, and they put out the more bread. So they got everything ready for the Passover meal. That evening, Jesus and his friends sat around the table together to have the special Passover meal together. And while they were all together, eating the meal, celebrating God's promises and protection, Jesus told his friends that something sad was going to happen to him sometime soon. Then Jesus picked up a piece of bread and he thanked God for the food, the bread. And then he did something unexpected. He broke the bread into pieces and he gave it to his friends. And then he said, when you eat this bread, Remember me, this is my body. And he set down the bread. And he picked up the cup and with he, the wine. He picked up the cup with the wine or grape juice like we had today. So he picked up the cup and he gave thanks to God for the drink in the cup. And then he shared it with his friends. All of his friends took a drink. And then Jesus said something unexpected again. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant, my new, God's new promise. When you drink this, remember me. The next time we drink it together, we will be together in God's kingdom. And then all the friends sang a song of praise together. I wonder if the man carrying the jug of water was surprised to see um, Jesus' friends ask him for a place. Yes. They need the, pa need the Passover yeah. meal, yes. And I wonder if he said yes right away. When Jesus said something would happen to him soon, I wonder what the disciples thought, and I wonder if they had any idea what was coming. That's right, because Jesus told them something sad was going to happen to them sometime soon. And I wonder what they thought when Jesus said the words about the bread and the cup. And always, we wonder what you wonder. Let's have the craft time. All right, guys, see you in craft time. Hey guys, welcome to craft time. So in our story today, Jesus had a special meal with his friends and in it, he talked about two special symbols that represented him and God's promise to protect us. The symbols were bread, like the crackers that we ate for snack and wine, kind of like the grape juice that we drank. So today, to remember that special meal that they had, we are gonna make placemats. So, go into your bag, and each of you should have a piece of white paper that I cut out, that I made cuts, slits in. So we're gonna open, whoop, we're gonna open that paper up so it looks like that. And then we're gonna take our strips of brown and purple paper, and we're gonna weave the colors into our placemat. So we're gonna use brown. Why do you think we're using brown? Bread. To remind us of the bread. Wine. And then purple, exactly, to remind us of the wine or the grape juice. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna weave it in and out. So let me show you, Jacob, how we're gonna do this. We just kind of go over, under, over, under. I wanna do under, over. Under, actually. ooh, fucking the system. Over, Why not? under, over, under. So when I get my one my first strip in, I'm gonna slide it all the way to the side. 
and then I'm gonna choose the other color and I'm gonna weave it the opposite way. Let's see. So I'm gonna go no, under, I'll do, over. I'll do over, under. All right. Under, over, under, over. And then we're gonna slide it all the way to the side so it looks like that. And when we're done, it will look like this. So we will have a placemat to remind us of the special meal that Jesus and his friends shared together. And it's gonna have brown to remind us oh, of the bread. Or the crackers. I didn't do very well. <laughs> That's okay. This is my finishing product. Oh dear. <laughs> you wanted to look closer to this. And the purple that reminds us of the wine or the juice. So this is gonna remind us of the special Passover meal called the Last Supper. Sorry. Exactly, that Jesus had with his friends. So, as always, you also have your children's so bulletin. bulletin. Yes, because it's just so fun. This is the exact thing you would have if we were still worshiping together in big church, which I can't wait to do, by the way. I miss you all so very much. So, yes. fun fact, so it says ages 7 plus. At 11 years old, I still do it. Totally. It's so, it's so fun. Yes, and if it's too difficult, if the puzzles are too difficult, there's still pictures that you can color. So it's super fun. And you can really just color anything on it. You can, you can just go to town and color. So that was fun. Before we go, let's say our Bible verse one more time. I don't even need it. You don't even need it. Nice. I'm impressed. I kind of still need it. Well, I want to see so if I can lovely. get it right. Okay. If you willingly forgive. Your love is always there for, for those who pray to you. Please listen, Lord. Answer. Uh, answer my prayer for help. Nice. Good job, Jacob. Only one helper word. All right. Very good. So it's very long, so we're trying to learn it in bits and pieces. So I think we should learn like the... We should, in two to three weeks, we should, we should be done with it. I think, yes, we're going to be done with it very soon. Woohoo. All right. So finally, I'd like to pray for us before we go. Bless us as we go from here and move about our day. Help us use our words to heal and spread kindness in lots of ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bye, friends. We'll see, see you next week. See you next week.